Well, what's new at the new zoo? Well, Neil Anderson joins us again from Swamico with a look. Hi, Neil. Well, good morning, guys. You know, we're talking about the new exhibits that are coming up for the new year. And, of course, uh, we also have new animals. And uh, for Christmas, I want to show you the zoo's Christmas present we just received from the, the Dakota Zoo in Bismarck, North Dakota. Uh, this is Matilda. She was born May 21st. She just arrived. Uh, their zoo director uh, drove her out, and of course he was on his way, I think, to Lansing to pick up a bighorn sheep and had an opportunity to go ahead and bring her in. Um, her timing bringing her in uh, was was really good because, oh, in about, oh, about a month and a half ago, uh, we lost uh, Willow. Uh, we had to actually, uh, Willow had to, we had to euthanize Willow. Uh, remember, she came in in the spring. Uh, she was an old female uh, moose that was living alone at the Riverside Zoo in uh, Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. And we said we'd bring her in. Well, when we brought her in, she had uh, she had some stomach issues, and uh, eventually we found out she had stomach cancer, and uh, her stomach was not working. So uh, Willow's no longer uh, with us. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the director out in uh, North Dakota at the Dakota Zoo had called me up and uh, had said that, you know what, we have a, a little female that we're looking for a home. And we did get a donor uh, to go ahead and donate. You know, and that's another thing, uh, that we need funds also for animal acquisition. Because as the circle of life happens, as animals come in and then they go through the zoo and they live their lifespan out, uh, bringing new animals uh, does have a significant cost to, to bring them in to the facility. and open up exhibits or to re replace animals that were um, gone from the exhibits. And in this case, you can see we've got our little moose over here. And we're so excited uh, to have her and have her out here. And what she will be, she'll be spending 30 days in quarantine and then hopefully uh, sometime Probably uh, midwinter, uh, depending on the the weather situation and the snow situation, we'll be able to go ahead, move her out to the exhibit, and she'll join our mail out there. But she's doing so well. She made the trip fantastic, settling in. And this is, like I said, she's in the quarantine area, and this gives us an opportunity for the keepers to get to know her, like I say, our staff, to be able to go ahead and uh, get the, that bond going uh, with her so that... Uh, once she does move to the exhibit, she's going to be real comfortable. And you see, she's already, you know, she hears our voices and everything, and she wants to come up. But, but look at the size of her. You know, she's probably, oh, 350, almost 400 pounds. And she was born in May, May 21st. So we have a new arrival here. Uh, one other new arrival that will be scheduled coming up here in January is uh, uh, an otter. We'll have an otter coming from the Erie, Pennsylvania Zoo to join our other otters. So we're excited with that. So even though, you know, like I say, it's uh, winter time, uh, we're still uh, still a lot of things going on at the zoo. And uh, make sure you have an opportunity to come out and visit the zoo. And one thing we want to do is from everybody out here at the zoo, we want to wish you a happy new year. And thank you for your support uh, during the 2010 year. And we look forward to seeing you here at the new zoo and enjoying animals like Matilda in 2011. With that, back to you guys.